Hi, this is Aud Traer for BICAST with Dr. Lorraine Hutchins at Because 2014, and we have her here to talk about how she's liked the conference so far, any workshops she's doing or attending, and anything else she can think of. Hi guys, beautiful bisexuals everywhere. <laughs> I am so loving that I came to Because, 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 Because. I need bisexual energy and bisexual community and that's what I'm finding here. Um, from all the flavors of our amazing Chinese food last night to beautiful and exciting and gives me hope. And I need hope, I need hope. So uh, <laughs> here I am. I had the opportunity and the honor to introduce a Billy Jones Hennon yesterday doing his keynote and to be able to tell people how much I love him and how much he has inspired me to make revolution in the world in a very straightforward, bi forward way. And this morning I'm going to be doing a panel on bi writers and we're going to be talking about the publishing industry and Wondering what that sound is behind me being dragged through the door. It, it's, it's a cooler. <laughs> it's a cooler. Yeah. See, you know, the amazing community in the Twin Cities, Minnesota, does this way of doing events that's so beautiful and so cooperative and so full of service and love that um, I just have to shout out um, my thanks to everybody in Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Minnesota. I know I don't say it like the Minnesotans, but... <laughs> You know, every time I come here, I get so taken care of and so um, supported that I understand why bisexuals put up with the cult in Minnesota. <laughs> so we're doing a bi writers panel this morning, and one of the things I'm going to be talking about is uh, that we're releasing the 23-year-old by any other name bisexual people speak out anthology as an ebook, and it'll be up on the web in a few weeks, and it'll also be available as a new print edition with a revised introduction, as well as the original 76 voices of the people. Um, and an interesting byline story of the um, publishing of that re-release is that our editor, our new publisher, a man named Don Weiss, who uh, is one of the leading uh, lights in uh, land literary New York publishing world, gay publishing for forever, forever, uh, just posted an essay called When I Call Myself Bisexual. Oh yeah, I saw that. So Don Weiss, one of the amazing gay literary figures in our country today, um, has also come out as bi. Um, talking about how he's primarily into men and he's been attracted to women and could be again and Lonnie and Lorraine and everybody else in the book helped him to realize that claiming a bi identity might be something he can do without being despised. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> and I would love to be a fly on the wall oh, yeah. <laughs> hearing um, what some of his colleagues um, are saying. I don't know what they're saying, but I know that... Um, mm -hmm. My experience, personally, has been that bisexuals, when we come out, are often the confessors. Um, confidentially, um, people confide in us and come up to us privately, either from the straight side or the gay side, and tell us about their experiences that are beyond what their identity label usually uh, would lead you to believe about them. And I enjoy and am honored to be a confessor, but I would also like people to come out <laughs> and to not feel so closeted about their feelings and their experiences and their love and their desire. So, um, you know, we'll be talking at the by Writers panel about the state of publishing and um, what it's like to be a writer and um, our favorite books and all that kind of good stuff. Okay, thank you so much. This is Odd for Bycast with Lorraine, and I hope everyone has a good day, and thanks for taking time out for us. And over and out.